the Ableton Live production curriculum is you come into it, you learn the ins and outs of Ableton and all the details. You learn a lot of composition techniques from our expert teachers. You learn production, mixing techniques. And most importantly, the focus is on finding your own sound. So today we're going to take a look at some old school Ableton Live techniques. You can use these old techniques to create some really cool custom arpeggiators. So let's take a look at how you do this. So I'm going to go here into my built-in instruments and I'm just going to grab just something simple. I'm going to grab a piano uh, for now. All right, and let's double click on a blank cell here and I'm just going to draw a simple pattern. Maybe I'll do the clave pattern and let's play that and hear what that sounds like. So we have this simple pattern. Check this out. If I go to MIDI map mode and I click on that, I can map it to a range of keys. So one option is you hold down the lowest note and then you hit to the highest note. And what it does is it maps the range from C2 to C4 and the root note is C2. So what happens here is when I hit this low C2, it plays it just as it is. If I hit higher notes, through and it allows you to play up to two octaves up. Now if you notice I was hitting it and then it would wait, it would hold up. That's because currently quantization is set to a bar and if we click down here on this little L in the corner that opens up the launch section and we can see quantization for this clip is set to global. So each clip in live in the session view can be set to have a, its, its own different unique quantization that can be set apart from what you have up on the top. So if I set this to none and I turn on legato mode, what legato mode does is it allows it to keep playing through. Even if you trigger something in the middle, it'll just keep the pattern playing around. So check this out. Now when I play it, okay? So that's one way of mapping it. Another way of mapping it is if I click here, and I just delete that. Now if I hit the high note first, and then I go down here to the low note, now you can see it's mapped that it says C2, C4, and the middle note here is the root is C4. So now if I want to hear that original note, I have to hit this top key. And then what happens is basically it pitches it down. Okay? So what do you guys think will happen if I go and I hold down the middle note, I go to hit the low note, and then I go and hit the high note? What do you think is going to happen now? Anybody? You'll be able to play the clip both lower and higher. Wow, amazing. You're correct. That is true. So if I hit that C3 right there, it actually goes and it plays the original. great technique. It allows you to go through and create your own custom patterns. You can actually draw in other notes in here and, and, and in essence create a, sort of a little sequencer, get your Giorgio Moroder on. And so now if I hold down one note, what happens is... Okay. If I do this in combination with having the global record button on, I can maybe turn the, the metronome on here and I can record everything that I play into the arrangement view and then go back and edit it later. getting recorded. So maybe some stuff is really inspired. This stuff here is not so inspired. I can just take the stuff that I really like, duplicate it out a couple times, and now I've got a really interesting thing going that I was able to whip up pretty quickly. So you can apply the same technique um, to audio clips here in the session file. You can map a range of notes to trigger an audio file, or you can have it trigger a MIDI clip, and what essentially happens is it will take whatever melody or whatever pattern you've written and it will pitch it up or down. So it's an old school trick, it's still air in live and utilizing it together with the new capabilities in Ableton, you can get some really great creative, creative results. 
This course is both available in our DubSpot online school as well as at our physical school in New York City. One of the great strengths of DubSpot is the quality of the teachers. Not only are they great teachers, but these guys are out there killing it as artists. We've got producers who've got major releases out there. Everyone's here sharing their knowledge, their composition, production techniques with our students and really honored to be a part of this great team. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.